Welcome to Kioware University, where we show you the ins and outs of using Kioware to its fullest potential. In this video, we will go over the initial installation process for Kioware for Windows, as well as some recommended steps to keep your kiosk in a secure state. To begin, launch the installer and read over the terms before proceeding. When ready, select Agree. At the following menu, you are able to create a user dedicated to Kioware. In most cases, these fields will be populated by two default values, kiosk user for the username and kiosk user exclamation point for the password. Please note that any local and domain password complexity rules are still in effect when creating a user via the installer. If a password is not complex enough, the installation will fail. Let's fill in these values now. The checkboxes shown here are dedicated to the Kioware user shell and the Windows auto logon. It is recommended that you check both of these boxes. This will ensure that the user account declared in the above fields both logs in automatically at startup and boots directly into Kioware. When the Kioware user shell is set, the Windows Explorer shell is not launched. This includes the start menu, taskbar, and additional Windows features that may be a security threat in a kiosk environment. In addition, upon exiting Kioware, the user account is immediately logged off as an additional security measure. Once completed, select Next. Here, we are given the option to install the Kioware keyboard filter. Installing is the preferred option, but allowing Ctrl-Alt-Delete is never recommended in a kiosk environment. Once ready, select Next. The installation directory can be defined, but please note that the destination folder should be somewhere globally accessible by all users on the device. Now, select Install and allow the installer to finish. Next, select Exit and reboot your device. Note that the user account outlined above will log in automatically, thus booting Kioware. Simply follow the exit steps displayed on the default start page to be returned to the traditional Windows login. You can then log in to your preferred admin account and resume the setup. Once you have logged in to your admin account, you can open the Kioware config tool. Note that the configuration tool is different from the application that a typical kiosk user would see. To begin, either search for Kioware config in the start menu or locate it within the program's list. In the general tab, add the content you would like to display in the start page URL field. For this example, we will use the Kioware website. This will be the site which is shown to users when Kioware is launched. In addition, you will want to change the default passcode before committing to a production environment. In most cases, users will be restricted to a certain subset of content in the browser. This aspect of the kiosk implementation is handled by the access lists. Let's start this process by configuring the browsing access list. Select the button labeled Browsing Access. In its current state, everything is permissible on the kiosk and nothing is blocked. Recalling our start page, let's assume we only want our users to be able to access content on the domain www.kioware.com. That would look something like the following. Note that the All Pages switch associated with our domain entry is set to Allow. This indicates that all content on www.kioware.com is permissible, while the Everything Else switch in the bottom right indicates that everything else is blocked. Now let's say we only wanted to block a singular web page on www.kioware.com. That would look something like the following. In this case, the web page www.kioware.com forward slash index.html is blocked, but all other content on www.kioware.com is permissible. In addition, all content outside of www.kioware.com is blocked. If we wanted to allow that singular web page, all we would do is flip the all other pages dial to block, like so. Now, only www.kioware.com forward slash index.html is permissible, while everything else is blocked. The scripting access list works in an identical fashion and is used to grant or deny scripting privileges. Navigate back to the Security tab and select the button labeled Scripting Access. 
By default, all pages are given medium scripting trust. If we wanted to give the domain www.kioware.com full scripting trust, that would look something like this. Now the domain www.kioware.com has full scripting trust, while everything else is granted medium trust. Similar to the browsing access lists, the scripting access list accepts both the entire domain and individual web pages. Next, let's look at the protocol access list. Navigate back to the security tab and select the button labeled protocol access. By default, HTTP, HTTPS, file, data, and res protocols are permissible. If we would like to add an external handler, simply select New Entry and input your desired protocol. Do not include any backslashes or colons. In addition to content restriction, we will likely also want to restrict certain keyboard buttons and hotkey entries. To do this, navigate to the Keyboard Filtering tab. By default, all entries are permitted. To block all, select this button. To allow all, select this button. Finally, to set the recommended, select this button. Typically, the recommended is ample for most implementations, assuming the Control-Alt-Delete blocker was selected during installation. To unblock a particular hotkey or key from the grid, select it. To block it again, simply select it once more. To ensure that sensitive user data is cleared between sessions, an inactivity timer can be configured. To begin, navigate to the Attract slash Inactivity tab. From the Reset Kiosk due to inactivity based on dropdown, select Use Inactivity Timer. The value listed here is the amount of time Kioware will wait after user input has ceased before ending the session and resetting the browser to its default startup settings. To clear all user data including cache and cookies at this time, set the When the Session Ends Clear dropdown to All User Data. A session can be limited to a set amount of time as well. Configuring it this way will force the session end at the conclusion of the session timer rather than waiting for the inactivity timer. To enable this, simply check this box and set the value fields to our desired time. Content can be displayed in between sessions. Videos, images, websites, and more are all valid forms of attract content. To enable this feature, navigate to the Attract Mode drop-down and select your preferred mode. The next section of this video will cover recommended Kioware server configuration. To begin, we will navigate to the Kiosk Management tab and verify that we have configured our kiosk to communicate with our Kioware server site in the Advanced Server Settings menu. If the Test Server Connection button returns a success, we can continue on. It is heavily recommended that Kioware server admins enable server commands along with remote monitoring. Server commands allow Kioware server admins to restart devices, restart Kioware, download content updates, and more all remotely from the Kio Cloud dashboard. Heartbeats are a simple ping of the Kio Cloud dashboard as an indicator that Kioware is running and healthy. Heartbeats can include some useful information, including GPS location and event logs. Both of these features will ensure you have the ability to troubleshoot remotely. Finally, it is recommended that Kioware Server admins enable remote settings in the General tab and set them to Kioware Server. Please note that a valid login is not necessary to leverage remote settings and managed configurations. Rather, doing so will allow the maintainer to manage uploaded managed configurations right from the configuration tool. Please note that shell and auto logon settings can be set up and verified independent of the configuration tool. Simply navigate to the System Settings tab and log in with your desired kiosk user account. Thank you for watching Kioware University, where we show you the ins and outs of using Kioware to its fullest potential. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for access to the latest episodes of Kioware University as well as other video content from Kioware.